In this video, we will explore the exact pressures required by the R454B refrigerant and air conditioning systems. We will also briefly analyze its thermodynamic behavior. R454B is a refrigerant that is starting to be used in air conditioning systems as a replacement for R410A in the manufacturing of new equipment. Next, we'll observe the behavior of R454B within the cooling cycle. 1. Let's begin by selecting our 454B in the simulator and setting an evaporation or cooling temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, which is typical for air conditioning systems. 2. For a more accurate calculation, we'll use a superheat setting of 5 degrees Celsius at the evaporator outlet. 3. Remember, Superheat is the temperature increase of the refrigerant gas inside the evaporator coil, located in the indoor unit. 4. The value of superheat varies depending on the thermal load of the air conditioning system. For example, in a room or space with many people, superheat may exceed 5 degrees Celsius, while with a lower thermal load or fewer people in the room, Superheat will be below 5 degrees Celsius, even reaching as low as 0 degrees Celsius when the cooling demand is minimal. 5. Now let's focus on the condensation temperature within the air conditioning system. To calculate it, we add 10 degrees Celsius to the outdoor ambient temperature. For example, if the outdoor temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, the condensation temperature will be 40 degrees Celsius. By the way, the link to access this simulator is available in the video description. 6. Now, let's select a subcooling value of 5 degrees Celsius. Subcooling is the decrease in temperature of the refrigerant while in liquid phase at the condenser outlet, which improves system efficiency. 7. For instance, if the condenser's outer surface is clean and there is adequate airflow, slightly higher subcooling values can be achieved. However, it's important to note that in hot climates or under unfavorable heat exchange conditions, such as low fan speed or a dirty condenser coil, subcooling can drop below 5 degrees Celsius and even reach 0 degrees Celsius. 8. The pressure indicated by the system's pressure gauge depends on the altitude above sea level. In this field of the simulator, we can select the equipment's altitude above sea level. This allows for a more accurate gauge pressure reading, which is crucial for high-precision refrigeration equipment. 9. Therefore, the pressure shown on the gauge will vary from one location to another. For example, at 1,000 meters above sea level, both low and high pressures adjust to the value shown on the screen. 10. At 2,000 meters above sea level, both low and high pressures change as shown in the figure. 11. In this part of the simulator, we can view the discharge temperature. This is the refrigerant temperature immediately at the compressor outlet. Let's see how it changes. Remember, the link to this simulator is available in the video description.